Welcome back, Matt here, the Lone Wolf. I got eight items to ship out, and it's the end of the year, so I got some inventory to do. Doing my inventory for the first time. Last year, we just kind of guessed uh, my tax preparer, tax lady. Um, she, uh, I had how much I spent throughout the year and then how much I made on eBay, but how much inventory did I still have in stock? We didn't know that number. So since I go to the bins, I know everything inside these was $1.29 a pound. So I'm not gonna bore you with it and show you how to do it, how I do it, or how I'm going to do it. But basically I'm just gonna weigh each of these bins. The tear weight is about five pounds per bin. Weigh each of the bins, get all the weight, and that way I know how much money I have in my inventory. So I know how much I spent for the year, <clears throat> and then I'll know how much I sold for the year for my cost and also how much I made. It was a request by my, my tax lady. So let me know if this is something that you do. Um, I don't itemize my items by any means. In my SKU, I do put how much I paid for each item because I weigh it as I'm listing it. So I know I paid $1.29 a pound. If something weighs a pound, I paid $1.29 for it. <clears throat> I just do that, just that way I have it in my SKU so when I go to um, send out offers or accept offers, I kind of know where I want to be. My right, inventory's done. <clears throat> it took about 20 minutes. I just weighed everything and wrote out all the, the bin numbers and the weights. Um, I have a few more that I guess I'll call miscellaneous at home that aren't just my death pile, my unlisted items um, that I gotta weigh up and then I'll be done. So now on to the orders I need to pull. I think I have like five or so I have to pull from here and, and a couple more at home. First item is a pair of shoes in 1A. This is a pair of Nike, I think these are like a fly knit. Paid 85 cents for these and they sold for $12.50 plus shipping. Next item is in G4. These are a couple of old brochures for a 1973 Volkswagen Bug. Um, it's a dealer list and the owner's manual. And it was actually from the Bug that I owned and that I was working on years ago. And it sold for $19.99 plus $1.99 shipping. Next item is in 4A. The sealed Ferrari VHS from 1987. I figured somebody would want it, some kind of collector, put it up on the shelf. If somebody owns a Ferrari, they can afford a VHS. Uh, got this at the bins for 69 cents and it sold for $29.99 plus shipping. Next item is in G10. There's a pair of Ray-Bans here. I talked about it in a video before that you can feel the quality of sunglasses to know if they're real or fake. So I paid about 12 cents for these and they sold for $50 plus shipping. As I started to put the shoes back in that bin, I realized I had another item I had to pull from this bin. It's an older item, so I put this down at the bottom. I gotta dig it out. It's a vintage Christmas ornament that sold after Christmas. Paid about 24 cents for it and it sold for $4.99 plus shipping. All right, back home, got a couple more things to grab so I can ship everything out. It has just been an ongoing battle with this garage. This is all death pile stuff. I finally got organized. Bunch of boxes that need to be broken down or, or recycled. That's winter clothes. Um, so I've been, just been slowly getting my stuff set up. So I've been having to go through boxes and kind of move everything to this side of the room, go through it to put it on that side of the room, and then move back and forth, and it's just been a hassle. Got some shelves put up. Uh, just start putting stuff up there. So it's coming along, it's just a freaking, like it's, I, I clean it so it looks nice, and then I start digging into boxes and getting into it again, and then it gets messy, but so close to being done. So the first thing from the house, a pair of Carhartt pants. Um, is anybody else not a big fan of Carhartt? These probably wouldn't be too bad because they're just basic 
Carpenter, but like the double knee, super like stiff pants and the coats when they're brand new and they're all stiff. Not a fan. I'm a Dickies guy. Paid two dollars and twenty-five cents for these and they sold for twenty-four ninety-nine plus shipping. Then a pair of kids um rock climbing shoes or wall climbing, whatever they are. Uh, climbing shoes. Funny thing about this, I actually have several other pairs that I'm going to list now. We just bought this house and in the shop there was actually a rock wall and a salmon ladder and the little pegboard thing, like you know, American Ninja Warrior type stuff. And I I guess it was never in the contract, but I thought that was all gonna come with the house, so as I was finding <clears throat> these um at the bins, so I found several pairs of rock climbing shoes at the bins, different adult sizes, kid sizes. So I was just getting them, I'm like, sweet, this is gonna be awesome. When we move into the new house, we're gonna need these. And then we move in, and there's not the, the actual wall is there, but the little peg, like the little grips, aren't there. So, anyways, I don't think I'm gonna replace them. And I paid 59 cents for these, and they sold for $18 plus shipping. The last item is a Sting card. Sold for $1.49 free shipping. And I will show you how I pack up my singles. So the, the cheap singles they'll ship just in a standard envelope. So I'll take the envelope, cut it in half. These ones have the self seal. So I will seal up the flap. Put the card in a penny sleeve. Take a piece of painter's tape and tape it to a piece of cardboard. Then you'll take your label and you'll make sure the side with the little scan code and the customer address. Uh, make sure it's showing on this side. And then as it folds over, it'll seal this open. You'll seal the open in here. Obviously, it's hard to show without actually sticking it on there. Then you'd fold it over, and the return address would be on this side here. So that's how you get a nice little card package. So just over $130 in sales. Um, kind of typical for me. I'm a part-time reseller. Again, I haven't done anything in my eBay for a couple weeks now. I haven't listed anything. I've shipped and delisted and relisted items. That's all I've done. And I'm still running a 50% off sale on most of the items in my store. So that's the kind of sales you can expect. Anyways, I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks so much. Merry Christmas. Remember the 12 days of Christmas start on December 25th. So it's still the Christmas season. All right. Again, thanks for watching. God bless. Peace. Keep your Christmas tree up until the 6th.